All right, let me make this clear, guys. Uh, let me make this a little clear. I want to end this here. Um, it's almost 12 o'clock. Got to think about 11 o'clock right now. Um, head home right now in Eastern Parkway. But I want to end this here, right? Uh, tomorrow morning is going to be the day, or probably Friday, is when they unseal that indictment of Eric Adams, our uh, current New York City mayor. But I want to make this clear, right? Uh, I know a lot of people on all the spectrums agree that uh, Eric is no good of a mayor. Uh, he was no good of, as a politician when he was in state senate, and he was Brooklyn Borough president. Uh, Eric was one of the kings of pay-to-play politics, uh, where you donate to his campaigns or his little pet projects or his pet nonprofits, then he will return that favor and pulling his uh, political wand. Political wand is shit. So let's make that clear. Now, um, you know, let me let me make this clear, right? Uh, I've been covering this guy since 2021. Uh, really more since he rose his hand as mayor. And I want to make this clear since I'm black and I can say this that uh, he is no good as a, uh, a politician. Um, he is a crooked politician. Um, anybody in Brooklyn will tell you, especially in Central Brooklyn, I live in Central Brooklyn. I live in his former uh, state Senate district, uh, District 20, Buffalo Lincoln all my life. So I've been in the 20th district all my life. Uh, I lived in Brooklyn all my life. But anybody, but anybody in Brooklyn Central Brooklyn will tell you because the base of Brooklyn is Central Brooklyn. Without you winning Central, without Central Brooklyn, you will never win the 20th state, the state city district. You will never win the uh, Brooklyn Borough President's race. Uh, you can ask Reynoso about that because at Tony Reynoso, the only reason he won Central Brook, the reason he won the Brooklyn Borough President's race over Robert Carnegie was because he sided with um, Zelno Myrie's wife, um, State Senator Zelno Myrie's wife, who is State Senator Zelno Myrie, is the current State Senator of my district, State, um, State Senate 20. And his wife is Diane Richardson, and she helped him become Brooklyn Borough President because Diane Richardson doesn't like Rodney's. Well, that's, different. that's a different topic. I can get that later on in another video. But I want to make this clear. I really want to make this clear. That anybody in Central Brooklyn who has a heart, uh, they'll tell you off the record, uh, off the record, that Eric is no good. Eric is a crook. Eric is dirty. Um, Eric is really corrupt. Um, Eric, when he raises, he rose his hand as mayor on January first, twenty twenty-two, in Times Square on video. Uh, People didn't understand uh, the shit that was going to happen to a lot of people and a lot of people was going to get hurt behind his decision making. And as we've seen for the past two years, hey, it's two and a half years he's been mayor, a lot of people have been hurt. A lot of people have been killed. And a lot of people have been heartbroken of the actions that Eric has done as a mayor. And all he liked to do is respond with press conference after press conference, flag raising, flag raising after flag raising, and taxpayer funded parties, taxpayer funded trips to Israel. I support Israel, but people that are like more of a good government uh, target oriented, they'll say, look, paying, using taxpayer money to go on junkets to foreign countries is not wise to do, is not right. Um, I don't care if they, he takes that trip to go to Palestine or he takes that trip to go to UAE or Dubai or um, Kuwait or Russia or Ukraine. If you want to take a, a trip to another country, use your own money. Don't use taxpayer money. Uh, you know, that's his response. And the one thing that annoys me, that's the, re the one thing that gets me happy, really happy, is because people know in the city, people in New York City politics know me. They know that I am a uh, New York City press. Uh, I lost my press pass one on a technicality, and then two, I lost. The, uh, I lost. I got this new one because I lost. The, I lost the one on the street. So I lost one in, in a New York City street somewhere. I got. I got this new one. But I've been covering 
New York City politics since 2021, deeply inter intergovernmental politics since 2021. I cover city hall politics. I cover state politics. Uh, I cover city hall politics. I cover a lot of things. Um, but a person that's independent media, a person that's myself as an independent media person and who doesn't work for a publication that works for, that works for myself uh, since 2021 as Christopher Leon Johnson, uh, a person like me that calls the bullshit out, that calls these politicians. Now, I don't have the same um, luxuries and um, rewards that the other people will get. I don't have access to the press schedule. I don't have access to um, the press releases. I don't get the opportunity to ask the mayor questions at all type of Tuesdays. I don't have the, I don't get the opportunity to ask the mayor questions uh, after during the press conferences like the the Chris Summerfelts and the Katie Holdens and uh, um, the Marshall Kramers and shit. Marshall Kramer, she's a different person, but uh, the Jeff Coltons and the Emily Nigos, I respect those two. Um, I don't get that luxury. You know, there's a big disadvantage when you're a journal. I'm a as a journalist that calls the bullshit out. As, as much as I call it out on Twitter and on social media and on YouTube, I'll say to your face, I'll call it out on your face. And that's why I'm hated by a lot of people because I I I I I back I back of what I say. I don't back down for what I what, for what I say. I'll say it in your face. So I don't have that advantage of how of like the other journals has. Now, one more thing I want to make clear is that the one thing that get me pissed off, the reason I'm really happy, is that the, Eric, with the help of his unindicted co-conspirator, Deputy Mayor of Public Safety, um, Philip Banks, has completely took the NYPD and made it to where they become more of a police state type approach where... You see these guys and gals in positions where any real administration that really want to take themselves seriously would never, ever install, will never, ever install, put NYPD officers as um, quasi security to deputy mayors, quasi security to commissioners. And the way they get way he gets rounded is by making them do pay, making them like assistants and chauffeurs and drivers and, and etc. But everybody know that all Phil Banks was doing doing for the mayor was just making his boys and gals in the NYPD security detail for Mayor Eric Adams cronies, his main cronies like Ingrid Lewis Martin. And um and and various other commissioners that we know damn well like look if this was a real if this was a mil a real administration a real government these motherfuckers will never have a job but maybe Ingrid Lewis Martin is is like the main one that everybody know like look um that lady is corrupt to the core um she's really crooked and um that's another one that need to be indicted by the by the feds that's another one that need to be investigated by the FBI. By the DOJ, by the by the um the Southern District of New York or the Eastern District of New York for her dirty dealings. Make that clear. Um one more and another thing is like I said, they the NYPD, the way that Phil Banks has completely exploited the NYPD to be in various agencies that they should never be in is disgusting. Um one thing that I, I give it to, like I said, I might disagree with the per, uh with these little police abolitionists and like these uh far lefties um including the street vendor project that i uh, disagree with the street vendor project is that you shouldn't have nypd nypd officers um training the other agencies of how to um suppress and oppress markets and everybody knows what's going on in um all of city where if you're a migrant, or people call it New York people, people the right way we call it illegal immigrant. I call them migrants. If you're a migrant, uh, if you're a migrant in New York City and you sell uh, mangoes and uh, mangoes, and should go outside. It's fucking, fucking it, reverb. We go in the hallway. Um, you sell mangoes, mangoes, and um, 
mangoes and uh, watermelons and shit like that um, in certain areas, they will bring, the NYPD will, like I said, they, they train these agencies to do the same tactics that cops will do to people they don't, they move out the door and just taking their shit and using the, the DSNY to dump their stuff in the trash and still give them a fucking ticket that they know they know damn well they can't afford. Um, that's the one thing I agree with with these uh, with these street vendor project and a lot of these workers is fighting shit. Let's say that's all done by Eric Adams and Phil Banks to make sure that the people that's really donating to their campaigns and donating to their causes and these um, police fraternal organizations that control the PBA, like how Anthony Sabelli exposed in 2022 to the point that the people like Phil Long got upset about that. Look, that's the one thing I agree. I mean, that's some bullshit. And, and that's the thing that's done by Eric Adams and Phil Banks because, look, if you're a, a, a street vendor and you're in front of the spot where the same business owner is donating to these campaigns, you know, donating to these political campaigns, these politicians are going to side with the person that's donating to, the, donating to these political campaigns. And it's just disgusting shit. And the thing, like I said, I've been, like I said, guys, I know what's going on. I've been covering since 2021 to the point even to where he raised his fucking hand. Eric Gavin raised his hand. Raised his hand. That, look, Eric um, has completely used Phil Banks to weaponize the NYPD to uh, um, threaten people that protest his um, press conferences you could be screaming from 35, 40 feet away at a mayor's press conference and how quick will the NYPD executive detail um, will get they will sick their community affairs officer to tell tell you that, oh, if you don't shut up, we're going to arrest you for disorderly conduct. And people got to stand that, look, when you get arrested for disorderly conduct at a press conference that's held by the mayor anywhere, these DAs will not be, these DAs will make you try to plea out to a fucking plea deal to like an ACD instead of them saying like, yo, this is bullshit, this should be dropped, this is freedom of speech. Look, these DAs will do anything for the mayor endorsements like Katz, Gonzalez, Crooked Ass, Bragg, McMahon, and Darcel Clark. They'll do anything for the, that Eric Adams support and Brooklyn, 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 Democratic, Brooklyn Democratic Party support. Now the Brooklyn Democratic Party is the most powerful political party in the in the state and in the five boroughs. So of course they don't want to shake the apple cart with Roddy Deshaun Hermlin. So of course, like, look, you get arrested for heckling the mayor's press conference, Eric Adams press conferences. Um, you're fucked. You know what I mean? And it's sad. I see this happen to a few people. You're fucked. You will be forced to plead out to ACD and really disgusting because it's the fucking mayor and the one thing that like I said they this this fucking mayor Eric Adams like completely gave Phil Banks full reign of the NYPD and he used them to help suppress freedom of speech and repress freedom of speech and repress freedom of expression and repress freedom of speech and anybody that been following this New York City politics shit Especially since Eric raised his fucking hand on January 1st, 2022. You, and if you out in these streets like I am, you see how the NYPD is when you're at a mayor's event. Even on a public street, even like on an open air street, if you heckle the mayor, they're quick to fucking come around you and yoke you away. They'll really, like, they really want to, they really want to shoot you for, they, they, they have this way where it's like, Phil really want to do is say, look, anybody fucking heckles me, fucking shoot their ass. And that's how it is. It's, that's how these fucking cops act. And I see this with, I see their faces. Especially the the bitch that protects the mayor. One of the bitches that protects the mayor. I'm not, one of the ladies that protect the mayor. We, we all know who she is. But one of the big, the main security detail that, that always be with the mayor. She has that, I, I want to shoot this motherfucking face. And the fucking other asshole that's with him, the little light-skinned bastard that's with him. And then you have the other guy that, like the other fucking light-skinned guy, he, you can tell he's the ones that really fucking um, engineering shit, like, like, yo, go fucking get this guy out here, like, go fucking try to, yo, we, go get him on the soil conduct. 
They have that, we want to shoot this motherfucker, this shoot this guy mentality because they calling out our boss. Like, they're just getting fucking, it's, it's really crazy. So, at, at the end of the day, um, as a person that been covering this shit for two and a half years, this, this damn mayor, uh, it was long overdue. Um, it's a lot of things he's been doing wrong. Everybody know, like, the city of yes, um, City of Yes, like it is going is going to be voted on today or tomorrow. I think uh, the nine twenty six from City Council hearing most likely probably canceled because it's an indictment. Um, City of Yes, basically City of Yes is a plan that what they want to do is give the developers full reign of how they do things with no community out, no community input um, at all. And um, City of Yes, he's down for. Um, it's many things that he he's hell bit on doing, like the delivery stuff hubs that everybody know damn well. That look, the mayor is doing a shitty job with um, a shitty job with fixing this e bike situation in the city. It's gotten to the point where the only people that's really trying to fix the situation is the federal government and Governor Kathy Hochul is trying to fix this e bike situation. So it's just a lot of things that people got to stand that look, yo. Um, this mayor is a failure. He's a big failure as a mayor. Um, he's a he's a joke of a mayor. Um, everybody know he is. Um, really, really corrupt. Really, really corrupt. Um, really crooked. Uh, I gotta text somebody. Uh, let me see this. Like really, really corrupt, um, real failure of a mayor. And, and the one thing I want to make clear that, look, um, he did no good. And a lot of his members of the administration, they are just bad as bad as the mayor, such as his first deputy mayor, who, who is really his right hand woman, is Angus Lewis Martin. And everybody know what I said. She needs to be investigated and indicted like the same thing as Eric should be fucking investigated and indicted for. Um, it's a few, like, it's a few of these deputy mayors I respect, but a, a number of them, it's just like, look, like, it's seen, there's certain senior advisors I respect and uh, deputy mayors I respect in the mayor ministry, but look, there's a number of these guys, like, look, yo, you guys are just fucking bad as this mayor and. You people are the reason why that, look, this mayor is in the situation he's in because instead of you guys saying, look, be the check and balance to the mayor. Stop dick sucking the mayor. Stop dick sucking Eric Adams. Stop. Um, you're supposed to check Eric Adams when you do some fuck shit. Y'all just been sucking his cock for the past two and a half years. Y'all let this guy do what he do. And like I said before, my early my video was, look, Eric hurt a lot of people. Eric destroyed a lot of lives. Uh, to the point that he t he helped take a lot of lives away, like this e-bike fire situations and the shootings, the the, the violent crime, the fucking migrant crisis. Um, a lot of people been hurt, and and and, and people got to stay. Like I said, the only people that's gonna be defending him now are like your typical bootleg media people, your typical um, clergy bootlickers, and that's it. So I'm about to log off, and I'm about to take off later.